I, I think uh, most people think of rape as being sexy. Mm. Let me read you a little bit more from Carol before I get to the prestige. She tweeted out that sex tip I learned from my dog. When in heat, chase the male until he collapses with exhaustion, then jump him. Huh. Ah. Interesting. <laughs> and she said, there's no All such right. thing as a slut. <clears throat> Only sexual geniuses. <clears throat> Money and power are the objects of a career, and sex is one of the weapons used to obtain them. Speaking of problems, E. Jean Carroll. This broads That's a, a crazy problem. problem. <laughs> She has a crazy problem. She now, revitalizes me every, every day, I oh, tell you what. Yeah. Back to full strength. She, um, she's the woman who, of course, came out and alleged that Donald Trump uh, raped her, of course, and, 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 and it wasn't corroborated, and it makes no sense. Uh, but there's some information that you may not know. We, we've gone through some other claims versus truths, but there's one that it, it took me a little while to research, and the researchers here, that I think kind of wraps it in a nice bow. So for those of you who haven't been following, the uh, fake rape smear campaigns. Uh, allegedly, I guess we have to say that because she may try and sue you yeah, for defamation yeah, yeah. against Donald Trump. E. Jean Carroll, the woman in question, that, that, that case um, in New York, is an insane person, but believe your lying eyes and ears. I feel like a victim. I was not thrown on the ground and ravished, which the word rape carries so many sexual connotations. This was not, this was not sexual. For, it just, it, it hurt. It just, what, it just, you know. Well, I think most people think of rape as a, I mean, it is a violent assault. It is not I a think sexual. most people think of rape as being sexy. Mm. Mm. Let's take a short break. Think of the fantasies. Mm. <laughs> We're oh, going to take a quick break. If you can stick around, we'll talk more <laughs> on the other side. You're Awkward. fascinating to talk to. <laughs> I had a picture taken years ago with her and her husband, nice guy, John Johnson. He was a newscaster, a very nice man. She called him an ape. Happens to be Afri African American. Called him an ape. The judge wouldn't allow us to put that in. Her dog, or her cat, was named Vagina. You've talked <laughs> about using some of Trump's money that you're about to get um, to help shore up women's rights. Do you know what that might be? What that might look yes, like? Yes, Rachel. Yes. Tell me. I had such such great ideas <laughs> for all the good I'm going to do with this money. First thing, Rachel, you and I are going to go shopping. Looks like the main guy in Hannibal. New wardrobes, new shoes, motorcycle <laughs> Young for Crowley, new fishing rod for Robbie. And Hannibal, Rachel, the guy whose face penthouse, he ate. Someone bring that picture up. It's yours, Nothing. Rachel. Penthouse and uh, France. You want France? You want to go fishing nope. in France? No? Oh. All right. All right. Okay. That's a joke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know, I know what people are going to say. And feminists, they do, so, they do such a great job of, of framing things so that they are beyond any type of criticism. Like, well, actually, you're victim blame. If someone says, hey, you raped me. It's like, I wasn't even there that day. Here's a plane ticket. You're victim shaming. It's like, uh, hey, this lady's crazy. Oh, you're trying to gaslight. No, she's actually been certified. <laughs> Rape culture. Let me read you a little bit more from Carol before I get to the prestige. She tweeted out that sex tip I learned from my dog. When in heat, chase the male until he collapses with exhaustion, then jump him. Huh. Ah. Interesting. And she said, there's no All such right. thing as a slut. <clears throat> Only sexual geniuses. Mm. Money and power are the objects of a career, and sex is one of the weapons used to obtain them. Wow. So I didn't know Brian Callen was a sexual genius. I, yeah, well. I, was say, <laughs> I know. I'm a real this, slut. That was yeah. my old life. <laughs> right, yeah, Every, of course. I got the scars to show it. Syphilis, <laughs> but uh, it's personal. Well, as long is as you get a, a good wig. I was gonna... Good powdered wig to hide the syphilis. That's your wear down there. <laughs> No, that's why they wore oh, powdered there. wigs, was oh, to hide syphilis scars it. on their head. Did I've you know been wearing that? it in the wrong place. Yeah, I, mm. uh, hence the bolt. Shocks. <laughs> so the media doesn't want you to know this, but this is also important. Um, I, I can't believe that we didn't cover this. E. Jean Carroll. Now, look, I'm not saying that there aren't women out there who are victims of rape more, more than once. But when you start getting into, you know, the baker's dozen territory of people who've raped and sexually assaulted you. I'm not saying that you're des you deserve what you're asking for, but I'm at a certain point, you maybe ask, am I a part of this equation? <laughs> or delusional. She has accused many, 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 many men of rape or sexual assault, to be clear. Throughout her life, Donald Trump's not the first. And by the way, he's not the first wealthy guy who she accused of this. She's and she, again, she stands to benefit, right? Because she has worked a job as a writer where she benefits from publicity. So she lists 21 men 
Wow. In the most hideous men of my life list, by the way, and I believe this is from, we have the, uh, all links in the description, but you, I think there's a paywall at the uh, Atlantic where a lot of this is. So it includes uh, the TV executive Les Moonves, right? She said that he uh, attacked her in an elevator after an interview. Okay. Then she also claimed that a student um, there when she was at Indiana University drove her to a forest and sexually assaulted her, which look, again, I don't know if it's true, but if a guy who you're not that close with is dry... If you say, where are you taking me? And he says, the forest. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying that you in any way deserve any type of imaginary sexual assault. What I'm saying is, hey, th that is a judgment at that point where you should take, I, I think we should pull a Yui. Or don't get in the car. Yeah. I mean, the forest. If it's the yeah. woods, it's kind of a little sexier. Maybe. But the forest sounds yes. dark. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds it like sounds it's the go dark, a yeah, where wolves are. The only thing more disconcerting would be the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> you come back from the woods, not the forest. Yeah, exactly. I know, I know. I mean, the bears go into the woods. Right. They're going to have a good time. Uh, so there we have Les Moonves. We have a guy at Indiana University. Her boss in Chicago, she says that she fought off an attempt where he was trying to sexually assault her at a hotel. Uh, she also accused uh, a, a Girl Scout, this, this camp director named Cam, who she said repeatedly molested her when she was 12. Jeez. Then the boyfriend of a babysitter, she said that he made a game of disrobing with the babysitter and then uh, molested Carol. Um, so there have been many men, She uh, needs. Seems. She needs pepper many spray. Men, many, 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 many men. <laughs> but, I mean... Go, again, does it mean that none of these things happened? No, no, I think one no, of the the childhood things probably happened, and then she's affected for the rest of her life. Not just right. one, like, every experience just takes me right back to that PTSD moment well, of getting molested by the babysitter. Or well, especially if you were molested by the babysitter's boyfriend. Yeah, I would imagine you would be extra suspicious. Yeah. if a boy at university said he was taking you to the woods, <laughs> forest, <laughs> forest, forest, forest. <laughs> What's gonna happen so in the, there? You'd think you'd be on extra alert. Do you want to go to the Black Forest? No, We're just looking for mushrooms. The it's answer fine. is no. Always no. Always know. I think forests are sexy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think they have truffles. <laughs> we can forage for morels. Yeah. It's a, it's a mushroom. But if she didn't accuse Hunter S. Thompson of uh, raping her, even though uh, you know they were kind of contemporaries, where she said that he sliced off her pants with a knife during an acid trip. Wow. And uh, she described that one, though, as an adventure. <laughs> Oh. That's an actual quote. An adventure. That one was okay. An adventure in survival? Like, yeah. what? That's crazy. So this is some of the media. Careful of that Bowie knife around my vagine. And, yes. and here's, I had to search very long to find this. I searched E. Jean Carroll, other rapes. I searched E. Jean Carroll, uh, claims against other men. E. Jean Carroll, sexual assault history. Jean Carroll, I thought I took out the E. Yeah. Uh, sexual assault history. Jean Carroll, how many rapes? Could not find it. There was one article with a paywall uh, at The Atlantic. And this woman has written a book where she's been talking about these things, where she That's talked insane. about these things. The media doesn't want you to know. They want this woman to appear credible. Now, the story with Donald Trump is not credible. We've gone through why that specific story is not credible in any way. But this does matter. This does matter. If this is a, if, if this is a person who has gone out and made claims of rape with zero substantiation while at the same time saying that rape is sexy and encouraging, by the way, rape on her own Twitter, at a certain point you say maybe this person is delusional who creates their own reality. Yeah. And maybe Donald Trump was right to say she's crazy. Mm. Comment below. I think, <laughs> I think my personal opinion. Well, did you, see the, did you see the title of her book? Do you see what it's called? Mm-mm. Crazy in the Forest? <laughs> <laughs> that was the working title. Oh, okay. It was the working title. The title of the book, I think, is uh, Do We Really Need Men? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, oh, yes, yeah. yes. How about that? Yeah. And uh, so maybe she just doesn't like guys. Yeah, it could be. Think about that. I, she said she's not had, I read an article where she said she has not had, uh, in, she's not engaged in intercourse since the Donald Trump incident. Right. But, not, said, but because, I'm not, a, not because of that. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's, it was yeah. luck. Yeah, it was luck. <laughs> Bad uh, luck. It was wait, luck. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. She John mispronounced Johnson. me. We, yeah. We, we know why it, it is. Yeah. Maybe it'll just bring it up. She's. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty close. That's uh, horrifying. She's very... I don't know which one's before. She does seem rather pointy. It's like taking a nap in a wooden chair. Yes. Angular. <laughs> you know angular. what I mean? A little angular. Like, like getting Charlie horses. Right. a bag of coat hangers. <laughs> and, and there's the book cover just so you have it. What do, uh, what what do, do we, we need men, men for? A modest proposal. Well, you know, I get one could argue the, 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 the pragmatic 
reasons. You know, for example, strength, uh, reflexes, speed, you know, in certain instances, the ability to uh, go into war and be effective as a unit. They invent things, you know, <laughs> no, but like plumbing, everything. But yeah. maybe in this case, you, you need men to uh, help curtail, to help bridle um, irrational, unchecked emotion, mm. might I argue. But that's kind of the role of men in society. And then women will say, oh, yeah, men, you'll have these modern feminists say, men do that. Have you ever seen a man lose his temper and yell? Uh, that's not the same as being delusional. I don't know if you know that. There's actually a value to righteous anger. It has to be bridled. But uh, there isn't a huge mm -hmm. value to unchecked emotion um, that goes completely uh, without consequence for the entirety of someone's life. This is a woman who, if you just read her writing, it is, yeah. it, it's, it's absolutely not. How, I mean, I, I went back on some of the Donald Trump stuff. One, I, I don't remember exactly when she alleged this happened or what exactly happened. I think Donald Trump said she alleged something about like in a dressing room, dressing at a department room, store. I just don't remember which was exactly the plot of her favorite show, Law and Order. One right. of them, yeah. <laughs> it right. was in a Bergdorf Goodman uh, shopping, yeah. a fitting room. And she said that they they he pulled her in there or they went in there together and then he he, he raped Even her. though it requires lock and, and key and someone way, to open up for you. It's like, yeah. oh, right. It's like, look, I need you to open stall number three. Yeah. I'm going to rape this bitch. <laughs> it, it's also important to remember that she told the story to her friend uh, kind of in a, in a joking manner. And her friend right. said, e, e, Gene, you were raped. Yeah. And that was when it dawned on her, right? Mm -hmm. Look, the, the problem is that when I look at this, I think to myself, this is the problem. It's women get a story men get a statement right and you can you can say anything you want you can make a story up it can be as old yeah. as possible and there goes your career right so that's an imbalance of power how about that imbalance of power yeah, yeah. it's a good point you know? 95 or 96 <clears throat> that's what they're saying late 95 early 96 is when it was alleged to have happened during the jordan Before years ever ago <laughs> yes horse mass dude seven oh. championships come i don't on. believe it Research. guys basketball is not the point I mean, <laughs> research actually just chimed in as well that she initially alleged in 2019 that it took place in 94, then had to switch it because she got called out that her dress didn't exist in 94. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> well, there we whatever go. you and need to do to make oh, I confused fit. him with the other person I accused of rape. <laughs> yeah. And then she has to change that date yeah. and another date. Hey, if you're still watching this, I appreciate it because in today's uh, day and age, people watch for 30 seconds. It's like a, a dancing nurse or a cat. So... Thank you. You can also tune in live weekdays at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern. And now, this, if you, if, you, if you click it. Otherwise, otherwise, it's nothing. In a way, if you click it, you are the one who created that video because right now you exist on a timeline where that, it may not exist. But if you click it, you make it exist.